Just you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a thug. I just shot somebody outside. <laughs> You're right. beautiful, though. Thank you. It's a true story. I really saw that tattoo. I'm not gonna take it off. All right. Well, you say forever, and you get a tattoo. You know, you gotta keep that shit, no matter what, right? <laughs> so anyway, it's gonna be funny. When I was seven. My third grade teacher asked the class, what do you want to be when you grow up? My answer bounced from the earth, electrifying my adolescent mind. I thundered, whatever I become, whatever I do, I don't want to be alone. I wish I could travel time back in time and say, you will never be alone, even when you want to be. The road you're on is rough. You'll make your own map. Your choices and experiences will be detours paved by the company you keep. Most of who you become is made from what you've endured. Some people don't like spoilers, but man, I know you. You cheat at choose your own adventure books. You have to know. You have many, you'll have many friends, but not many best ones. You will know many women, but only one will love you well. They will teach you that the opposite of loneliness isn't togetherness. It's a commitment to someone other than yourself. You will often feel so alien, you'll enjoy being awkwardly adequate. Teachers and family will push you just hard enough to stand out while trying to fit in. Attending a black school, your peers will call you nigger. At a white school, no one will notice you enough to call you. At 13, you will lose your virginity to your babysitter watching Key Man, and yes, it'll be as awesome as it sounds. Your first fist fight at 14 will intimidate the word nerve for the mouse with anyone within your reach, which will be long. Two facts will follow you to graduation. A. D&D isn't the only thing at which you're good. B. You are the wrong nerd with whom to fuck. At 15, you will discover coolness in the closet next to a fat suit sewn from insecurity. Your stammer will stumble out of your mouth for the last time and you'll find a silver tongue in your peachy folder. And your prom date will be pretty and pink and some kind of wonderful, but you won't appreciate that until the films come out. Your 20s will be filled with fantasies that will haunt you for the rest of your life. You will turn 21 in Japan, partying with your dance crew and your runway model wife, but you won't drink until you divorce at 28. You will never develop a taste for liquor or goodbyes. She will leave you hanging like a participle. Her footprints ellipses out of the door. In fact, everyone you're with before age 25 will be reduced to a collection of good stories and refrigerator photos. But your 30s will be mostly perfect. Mostly. The artist in you will finally usurp the asshole, and you won't talk to dad until it's almost too late, as two men holding on to time with both hands. And you won't be rich, but you'll never feel poor with two daughters to occupy both arms. At 40, the right one will come out of left field, take your hand like it's a second chance at first love. She's the one you've been waiting for since you first noticed girls last week. But until then, life's going to be amazing, but horrible, often simultaneously. Sometimes it'll be d, d that saves you from a cursed reality, a video game that gets you from getting shot in real life streets. And at least once, Saved by the Bell is going to keep you sane at 3 a.m. and life's going to drag like Sunday service. And I got to tell you right now, you're not going to picture the Yankees or establish the first colony on Mars. But you're going to read yourself into a better person and write yourself into a better man. You'll give up sometimes, but you should never on yourself. Because even in your breath of companionship, adults will mean eventually realizing that you are your own best company. And as long as there are words and people to hear them, I promise you this. You will never be alone.